Tell us about the story, how you broke it, what did you learn from it? Uh, well, uh, I can tell you about the story because we just put it out there. Obviously, you know, PayPal has, has expressed some interest in acquiring Pinterest. Uh, we think they're discussing a price of around $70 a share, which, as you say, uh, would be a premium based on where they're trading today, but as, as it's still a substantial discount on where they've been in recent years. Uh, the logic for this is an interesting one. Look, when I put the tweet out saying this was happening, uh, nearly all of the responses were sort of question marks like, ha, huh, hmm, this doesn't make any sense. I'm not an expert in the space, so I don't know what the exact industrial logic would be for this, but I do know that there is a, a decent amount of e-commerce momentum going on in Pinterest, and obviously PayPal is, you know, this sort of just gigantic payments business now, and it's looking to expand anywhere it can. Were there many issues with this deal, Ed? I, I was talking a moment ago about the fact that large tech deals are likely to come under greater scrutiny. Would this... Well, it's definitely a large tech deal, guys, so I think your point is an astute one. It, it probably would come under scrutiny. That said, I don't think of PayPal as sort of big tech in the way we think of Amazon or Facebook or Google. Yes, regulators would, I'm sure, take a look at something of this size, but they're not necessarily going to come down on it in the way that they might a company that has, you know, that huge sort of social influence. And Pinterest, look, it is a social media site. It does have uh, eyeballs on it in the same way that any other social media site does, but it's much, much smaller. Mm -hmm. And I don't think you can make the argument that it carries anything like the influence of the biggest social media companies. Um, I finally realized how to make a board, like maybe a year ago. I felt really proud of myself. <laughs> um, would there be any other bidders? Did you hear anything out there about that? Um, we haven't heard anything out there about other bidders. That said, look, this is a company that is historically quite cheap right now, so there may be other bidders who, who do emerge through this mm -hmm. process. Maybe our story actually draws some people out of the woodwork. It wouldn't be the first time. Uh, and I think if you look back, there were rumours about Microsoft potentially looking at this earlier this year. We didn't confirm those, so I have nothing to substantiate that. But as I say, stories like this can often draw people out.